Hey, it's Yash, and in this lesson, we're going to cover how to enrich your company data using waterfalls and clay to augment your data and help you better segment, score, and filter your list building process. In the previous lesson, we imported a list of companies with greater than 500 headcount in the software development industry, all based in New York. Now that's great firmographic information, but we're going to want more data about these organizations. Remember from the Jigsaw framework that once we've gotten domains and LinkedIn profile URLs for companies, we're ready to rock and roll and profile URLs for you out the gate so you can get started with enrichment right away. Let's take a stab at adding funding stage data to this table. First, we'll head over to the enrichment panel and search for funding stage. There's already a waterfall for the funding stage data point. Great. Now, to quickly explain how waterfalls work in Clay, let's take a look at this funding stage example. Here you can see we've got five providers ranging from IntelliSense all the way down to PitchBook. And each of these providers costs a differing number of Clay credits. Super important, you don't need a subscription to any of these tools to actually utilize this data in Clay your Clay subscription automatically lets you access the data from each of these providers based on our pre-negotiated agreements that we have in place with them. From here, you can see IntelliSense costs one credit, DealRoom and Harmonic cost four credits, PitchBook costs three credits, and Owler costs 10 credits. If I want to, I can reorder any of these enrichments in the waterfall based on my preferred designation. Now, We've default ordered the waterfall for you based on cost and coverage, but if you know that coverage is different for your specific ICP, customize this to your set of preferences. We won't run any later enrichments if data is found from an earlier enrichment, so you're never at the cost of burning all of your credits. Note that the only input we need here to run this waterfall is company domain. Now Clay has already populated company domain for us because it's detected it in the table before, but if it was incorrect or it didn't populate the first time, it would be as simple and as easy as clicking on the input, scrolling and or typing to find the column that I want to use as company domains to run this integration. Now we've got everything we need to see how this waterfall works. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save and run 10 rows and take note that you always want to run just 10 rows at a time when you're still figuring out and learning clay because you don't want to burn through credits and you still want to understand exactly what your integrations are doing. Once we've kicked off this waterfall, you're going to see it happen in live action for you. We found data for three companies via IntelliSense, didn't find it for the other seven, so then we moved on for just those seven over to DealRoom. Of those seven, we found five. And then for the two that we didn't find it for, we moved on to Harmonic, found those two, but didn't actually get the data point that we wanted for Cure MD in particular. And so for that final fourth funding stage, we moved on over to PitchBook. And we didn't even have to run our most expensive integration, Owler, for any of these first 10 results. You can see the final funding stage data point for all of these, no matter which integration it came from, is finally here in this last column labeled funding stage. That's a quick primer on using waterfalls and providers to enrich company data in Clay. Next, we'll jump into finding people from this enriched list of companies.